Hello, fellow fleet and mobility players. Daniel Bland here, Global Fleet Editor of the Americas. And joining me today is Ed Pieper from General Motors, who heads the operations of GM Involve in North America. Hello, Ed. So how's it going there in Detroit? Uh, it's, going, it's going great, Daniel. And uh, thanks for having me on today. I, I really, really appreciate it. Yeah, it's good to have you too. So let's get down to the questions. Um, uh, first of all, so GM is the main OEM, uh, uh, as we all know, in, uh, across North America, and um, with a long history and a uh, strong corporate fleet legacy. Um, why the launch to GM Involve? And briefly, um, how will it differ from the GM fleet organization that we know of today? Yeah, the GM fleet organization today has been primarily concerned about providing vehicles for customers. And, and um, we realized after doing a lot of research with our, our fleet customers that they want even more solutions besides vehicles to help them run their business better. And so we think GM Fleet was great in the vehicle space. We're going to bring that with us to GM Involve. But GM Involve is about opening up many, many more solutions for fleet customers than they've ever had uh, before. And I, I think many of the customers are amazed with some of the, op, you know, the solutions that we have out there. They didn't even know that we had. And so that's going to be a, a, a big part of it. Uh, I will run the business on a day-to-day on a -day basis as the U.S. Vice President for GM Involve. Um, also, we're kind of within GM under Steve Hill, who's our Vice President of Commercial Growth Strategies and, and Operations. And... Uh, Steve has been working with me for several years now. We love the fleet business. We love the fleet customers, and, and uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Okay, so great. So, yeah, so it sounds like you're, like, expanding more, having more uh, um, more, ser more uh, services and stuff like that. And it's like the name, Evolve, Evolution. So, uh, so sounds, sounds great. Uh, my next question, um, Ed, is... Um, Besides each customer being paired, from what I read in your releases, uh, being paired up with a, a single account executive backed by a team of experts, um, he or she can manage their, their own GM portfolio through a digital platform. Um, could you tell us a little bit more about how this works? Yes, uh, actually, uh, that, that was a, a very, very strong feedback that we had from our customers was we want one single point of contact. For, from GM is there's primarily six or seven different business units that can all sell to the same fleet customer, which makes it confusing for them. And so what we're trying to do is have a single point of contact and that, that person will be backed by all of these different business units who can provide the solutions that that uh, strategic account executive needs. Um, in, in terms of the digital platform, it's twofold. For us, we will have an internal platform so we know what all of these customers mean to us, what they're purchasing from us, uh, and, and they will also know, they'll know how many vehicles they purchased from us, what kind of parts and accessories did they buy, how much service business did they, they do with us, what was the amounts of their consolidated billing statements, all these different things to make it easier for them to do business with us, that, that's kind of what these platforms are going to be all about. And they're really evolving, and they are evolving very, very quickly. But I think ultimately, we just want to make GM Involve the easiest business unit within the fleet industry to do business with. That's it. Yeah, it's good. A lot of stuff going on. You need to streamline the operations. <laughs> so that's that's great. Um, I, I also read, um, and um, you're collaborating with uh, auto parts distributor AutoZone. So, uh, what's happening with them? Their AutoZone has been a, a Daniel phenomenal customer for us, uh, and and we when we were calling on them, we looked at you know all the different ways in which they are involved with GM. They they are a very big purchaser of parts and accessories. They want to get into the EV business. And so they want to try a pilot with EV. They want to buy chargers because they need chargers at the stores. They want to pilot their EVs, EVs at. And so we just saw there's just so much potential business and solutions we can provide 
to them. And we think that has an opportunity to kind of take that model and use it with other major companies. But it's really all about what the customer needs. Our whole thing is if we can make them more successful with our vehicles and our solutions that we can offer, then we're going to be more successful. And that's really what this whole thing is about. AutoZone happens to be a wonderful customer and a big customer. But the learnings we've had from working with them, we think we can take and use with other large fleet customers as well. Um, from what I understand, Ed, GM involve offerings revolve around five pillars, right? So it's mobility, energy, delivery, insight, and growth. Um, in a nutshell, um, could you tell me what these services are about and uh, which one do you think will see the most demand in 2023 and, and why? Well, I, I think mobility is probably the one most customers and, and the, and the kind of consumers who are out watching in the marketplace would, would know because in the mobility space, we're talking about vehicles, we're talking about you know, parts, parts and accessories, uh, et cetera, there. The energy offering is, is really different and it's new. You know, we're going to have hydrogen powered vehicles. We're going to have hydrogen powered storage units. Uh, we're going to be selling um, charging stations and infrastructure and, and everything else. So that's a brand new offering, we think, with great promise. We've seen the fleet customers very interested in that space. In delivery, We've got a company we set up, Brake Trap, that's all about last mile delivery. And we know how big that market is with some of the major customers yeah. that are out there, certainly what's happened post-COVID. So we think we've got hardware, we've got software solutions there in the delivery space. Um, insights will largely be drawn through OnStar and our OnStar business solutions. We can help a customer with any and all information that they need and the data that comes through OnStar, we think, is the purest uh, in the in the industry and, and, and will help them with their business. And finally, just, just the fact we can help them with a variety of different types of things like financing. General Motors Financial can help finance vehicles for them. They may be able to help finance chargers for them, infrastructure that they need, uh, et cetera. So we think in the growth area, We've got a lot of other opportunities there that we can help them with. So we think our solution, as we look at it, is as holistic, probably more holistic than anyone has in the, in the fleet space right now. And we intend to tell our story, but it's really, again, Daniel, I go back to the customer. It is about what they want. And so we're, we're gonna you know, hopefully serve them up things that will help them run their business better and be more successful. And that's really what this GM Involve, that's what it's all about. I mean, one of the things we say about GM Involve is everything you need to change the game all under one roof, all under one roof. And, and our, our tagline is powering leaders to stay ahead of change. And that's what GM Involve is, is all about. Okay, so, so that sounds good, um, Ed. Just one last question. Is that, the, is that the Silverado in the background there? And if I come to Detroit, can I do a test drive? <laughs> you definitely can. And yes, it is. And the Silverado EV work truck, that's, that's uh, behind me in the picture. We just announced last week that the range on the Silverado EV work truck is up to 450 miles on a charge. And so, yeah, that's uh, a, nobody that's has a good range. range like that in a vehicle that's that's you know of the size and ilk of this vehicle. So we're really proud of it. Okay, um, that's all I have, I have for today for the questions, Ed. But thanks a lot for your insight, uh, telling us uh, about what's happening at GM Involve. And for those of you uh, watching out there, so don't forget to refer to globalfleet.com for more news and expertise on global and regional fleet topics. See you later.